Okay, we're gonna do a little bit of weight loss troubleshooting. Now, a lot of people come to me and say, I've started exercising in the gym, but I'm not getting the weight loss that I should. Now, some people will go on even further and, meet, and uh, decipher that as calories in, calories out doesn't work. Because in theory, if they're exercising more and burning more calories, they should be losing weight, but they're not. So why is this? Now, if you use this example, to deduce that calories in, calories out doesn't work, you are oversimplifying things and you are overlooking something that is very, very important. What I'm going to do is explain to you one of the mechanisms that you are overlooking and simplify it down so you know how to implement it into your own regime. So, first things first, it is important to know that the calories you burn in the gym or through physical activity, whether it's running, cycling, swimming, whatever, is actually only a small portion of the calories you burn on a daily basis. Your body will have a certain metabolic cost of living. Breathing, digesting, talking, moving as I am now. How much you move on a daily basis will significantly impact that. So if you're walking to work, if you're carrying bags, if you have an active job, these are all calories outside of structured physical activity, which are or can be a large contributor to how many calories you burn on a daily basis. Therefore, viewing your gym workout as your calorie burn for the day is oversimplifying things. So here's an example. We're going to use you as the example. For this, we're going to assume that you are starting your gym regime for the first day today. And we're also going to assume that the number of calories you eat on a daily basis stays the same because some people will find themselves exercising more, but then eating more as a kind of reward, which of course will mitigate them out. So your calorie intake stays the same, but you're starting your gym regime this week. Therefore your calorie burn is going up through that additional physical activity. Now at the end of a month, for, it, for example, if you haven't lost weight, does that mean that calories in, calories out doesn't work? Some people might think yes, but this is what you're overlooking. So I've written this down on my whiteboard, which is when you know that shit is getting serious. The autofocus on the camera might flicker a little bit, don't worry about it. So what we have here, total energy expenditure on this, on this axis. So this is the number of calories you're burning in total over the course of the day. PA is physical activity. So that can be your gym workout, your running, cycling, whatever it is. That is your physical activity. The other is everything else. Breathing, talking, walking, digesting, moving, etc. Now some people will believe that this stays constant. Therefore, as you increase your physical activity, the total energy expenditure has gone up. Therefore, over the course of 24 hours, you've burnt more calories. Therefore, if your food intake is staying the same, you should be losing weight. However, when a study actually looked at this, they found something that was different. Now, what they found is that there was almost like a certain threshold, which when your physical activity calories went up to a certain point, you would find yourself burning less calories outside of physical activity. Now, this is the constrained model. So as the physical activity calories go up, you can see it's higher at the end. The other calories you burn, moving, walking, talking, breathing, etc., actually go down, which means the total energy expenditure, rather than going up in a linear fashion, is actually constrained, with this being a kind of threshold. Now what this means is that, let's say light to moderate activity, you may find that your habits over the course of the day don't change. You go for a brisk walk or a light jog or something like that. You may find that your movements for the rest of the day say exactly the same. But if you go to the gym and absolutely fucking kill it, which would be the highest physical activity, you may find yourself getting lazier over the course of the day and burning less calories outside of that physical activity. So an easy example of this would be Let's say you go to the gym today and you smash a workout. You pull out PBs, left, right, and center. PB is personal best, not peanut butter before anyone thinks that. You pull out personal best, left, right, and center. You work the hardest you've ever worked. Then you go home and you fall asleep on the sofa because you're that exhausted. Now, that is an example of burning X number of calories in the gym, 
but those not being additive to your normal daily caloric expenditure because your normal daily caloric expenditure has actually decreased because you feel so exhausted you move less than you do normally. So here's what you need to know. Calories from your gym workout are not necessarily additive to your total daily caloric expenditure because as those go up you may find yourself reducing your calorie burn elsewhere. Here's what I think you should pay attention to. Pay attention to your gym habits and pay attention to how much you move outside of the gym. For example, if you smash a workout but you feel lazy elsewhere, you may find that your calorie burn over the course of the day doesn't move anywhere near as much as you thought it would. So for me, for example, when I really, really push it in the gym, especially when I'm very lean, I will find myself having to sit down or lie down afterwards, whereas normally I would just stand up, walk around, carry on working and carry on with the course of my day. Which means there's a definite example of working harder in the gym doesn't mean you're necessarily burning more calories than you would if you only did a moderate workout in the gym, for example. So pay attention to your gym workouts relative to how much you're moving outside of the gym. And you may find that pushing yourself harder in the gym doesn't necessarily yield a higher total energy expenditure than if you only worked lightly or moderately. So that's it. I hope it's been helpful. If you've got any questions, please feel free to ask. My Facebook page is facebook.com forward slash Ben Carpenter Personal Training. My Twitter and Instagram pages are both BDC Carpenter. And thanks for watching. Bye.